staff, she got called up. Can you just tell us what the conversations have been between you and, and the coaching staff? Um, just to come in and be myself. Um, I feel like I'm an energetic type of guy, team player, and uh, that's all we're really looking for right now is uh, keep building off what they've been doing and um, just for me to come in and bring energy. How satisfying was it for you to finally get that call? What was that call like? Oh, it was amazing. Um, I actually ended up meeting with our GM, Zach, and uh, he just told me we're calling you up today. Today's the day. And uh, you know, I was excited and uh, had been ready for a while, I felt like, but um, I couldn't be more excited right now than to come in at the time that I did. I feel like it's a really good time to come in and uh, just be able to help out. Talk about your preparation and getting yourself ready. And did you ever think this moment would come? Absolutely. You know, I always knew that um, there would be a time where, you know, I would get caught up. Uh, the preparation day in and day out, um, just mentally, physically, trying to make sure that I was in shape whenever, you know, I got the call. And uh, just trying to improve on my game. And overall, um, I feel like I, I still got things that I need to improve on. And uh, being in G League, you know, it really gave me a lot of time to focus and, and learn exactly what those things were. So it was great for me. What's your biggest takeaway from your time uh, down in Southaven? Uh, my biggest takeaway is uh, it's just a nonstop grind. I kind of already knew that anyway, but uh, just seeing it firsthand, being in the G League, um, just the travel, you know, kind of the hotels, it's, it's definitely a grind. It kind of gives you like an a AAU vibe, sort of say, um, but it's, it's fun. You know, the guys love being down there. They love playing, and uh, it's just competition night in and night out. You know, you're going against guys who, who really want an opportunity just like you. Do you feel like your fun. perspective on, like, just being in the NBA changed because of this experience? Like, maybe appreciation uh, or something like that? I mean, I wouldn't say that. Um, but, you know, I've always been appreciative to be able to play the game that I love. Um, as long as I'm able to do that, you know, I'll be happy no matter what it is. What was the response of your teammates when you got the call? Say that one more time. The response of your teammates, what did they say? They were all super happy for me, um, from the Hustle guys to the Grizzlies guys. Um, been rooting for me all year, you know, just uh, hoping that, you know, I would get this opportunity to come up and uh, show what I can do. Um, but support here from top to bottom, from um, even the front office to down to every teammate, um, equipment managers, everybody's been super supportive of me, um, showing that they care and you know, want me to be successful. What this about year. you think your role will be now that you're up with the big club? Have they told you what to expect, like uh, wise or where you'll play or how they want you to play? No, they haven't told me any of that, um, but kind of like I said in the beginning, uh, just to bring energy. Um, I think if anybody watches me, uh, that's one thing you can notice off rip is uh, just that, you know, I'm, I'm a fiery guy. You know, I'm running all over the floor, trying to defend, diving on the floor. And uh, that's, that's all I'm really trying to bring right now. Does how this played out jive with kind of what they told you before the year of how this was going to happen? Yeah, how this was gonna uh, it's pretty out? much exactly what they explained coming in, um, that I would have to spend some time, you know, playing in the G League and, uh, you know, just working on myself, getting better at things, you know, that I, I wasn't so good at yet. And uh, they, they kept their word on everything. I can honestly say that. How are you different both on the court and off the court from the guy who last played in the NBA? Um, I'm a lot more experienced, for one, uh, a lot more mature. Um, I just feel like I'm more knowledgeable about the game. Uh, I'm not as, I'm not rushing into things as much when I'm on the floor, um, you know, making as many turnovers as I used to. Uh, it's just, I can feel a different type of focus by myself. How do you fit between, uh, how do you see yourself fitting between John Moran and Jaron Jackson Jr.? I feel like anybody can play with those two, you know. The, both of them super unselfish, uh, love to compete, and just love to win. So uh, I feel like you put any guy with those two, and they're going to be successful. How did you best deal with the stress when you were down there during times where you felt like you might have been called up earlier? Or things like that? How did you deal with I mean, that? yeah, I felt like um, I felt like that at, at times. But um, you know, like I said, it's just a nonstop grind. You just got to know that uh, your time's going to come as long as you keep working hard. And uh, that's all I really tried to keep doing was to uh, just keep seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and just working towards it. All right, thank you.